Okay, so let's just go over the bottle, how to make your your bottle for your coat top. So the first thing to do will be to insert uh, a canvas, <coughs> excuse me. And I've already been and uh, selected one, and I've just saved it as an already JPEG. So uh, I'm going to put it onto this face here, and I'm going to select my image. I've saved it on a desktop, and I'm just going to take the Coke bottle here, Coke bottle 13 JPEG, and then just open it onto that surface. Now it's pretty small, so I'm going to click on the rectangle, and I'm going to drag that out to a size which I feel I'm happy with and then I'm going to move that up onto the if you like the blue and the green axes and I might make that a little bit bigger and there you go so just pop it up onto that axis so the op opacity needs to be changed so um, I'm just going to change the opacity and I'm going to bring it down so I can see my line when I draw around the edge and then just press OK. So now I'd like to sketch, create sketch, uh, and I'm going to put it onto that face so the bottle turns around and I will just pan and I'll just bring that down. So the first thing to do will be to create L, the line, and I'm going to draw a line straight down the middle, make sure it's at 90 degrees. and just press OK and I want to zoom into the top so I'm going to zoom in and then just pan down just a little bit and on this top edge I'd like to just put on a line which is going to be straight because I think for mine I'm going to put on a thread on the top so I'm going to create if you like a little edge there make sure this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees and then just press OK for the next bit, I'm going to create a spline, and with the spline tool, I'm just going to follow roughly the outside of the shape there. And something with fusion that I find a little bit tricky sometimes is, as I'm zooming in, I can pan a little bit, and I'm just going to finish just about there, a little bit more, there you go. Now sometimes when you're adding the Coca-Cola sign, which is here, the image, sometimes it prefers a straight line. So I'm just going to put, just for today's demonstration, I'm going to pan out and pan up. And I'm just going to put a straight line, so that looks like from here, just down to about there. Make sure it's about 90 degrees. And then I'll finish that line, and then I'll just zoom out. And remember, I'm only following this roughly. And then I'll continue with my spline line. Oops, there we go. And I'll now continue with my shape. There we go. And I'll finish there. And I'd like a flat line or a horizontal line at the end so that my bottle will at least stand up. And as you notice the profile has gone yellow. So now I'd like to just trim off trim any off excess lines. I think there's one there and let's have a look at the top. Yep, there's another one just there. And stop your sketch. And click the home view. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to create and I'd like to revolve that particular profile on the axes just there and then you can press OK. Now you'll notice with your bottle the canvas is still here so you can switch off the canvas by pressing the bottle. Now the tricky thing now is to shell the product um, and to do that I'm going to zoom in and just pan down and then just zoom in a little bit more. There you go. So let's go for modify and let's go for shell. I'm going to shell the top surface and just as a quick value I'll put in one and see what happens. Mm, not happy with that, should be okay and I'll press and there I should have a bottle that when I orbit around 
I can see. Let me just get that on the right thing and go to home. Sorry, I can see that when I orbit around, it's hollow in the middle, so I can fit my liquid. Excellent. So now I'd like to put a thread on the top here. So create a thread and I'm going to put it onto that face and I'm going to model the thread to see what it looks like and I shall press OK and let's have a look what that's done from the, the front view and let's just pan down a little bit there you go, so I've got a nice modelled thread ready for the top to be put on so let's just go back to that home view and now let's go and into render mode and let's apply some material finish now you can either choose your glass or you can choose your plastic let's have a look for plastic first now, I don't want an opaque I want a transparent and I will drag across my clear acrylic onto the body so now it becomes pretty much see-through and I'll close that off and go to my setup just remember to use your environment maybe put some reflections on too and go into your environment library if you'd like to change that to your different lights or anything like that you can do and just press play and don't forget to put it on to normal mode and then see that image begin to sharpen up. Now, once that's been done, you can go and get yourself an image and you can insert a decal. And your decal can be put onto this face. And I'm going to select my image and I've already guessed the Coca Cola one. Yeah, it's a PNG. And click open. And you'll notice, I think, that that's opened on, that may have opened on the inside. Let's just rotate that to 90 degrees. And if I click and I open that up, no, nope, that looks okay. And that's brought that round. There we go. And press OK. And let's go. just have a quick look. Remember, I'll do this very quickly just to see what this is going to look like. Um, and there you go.